All right, here I am with Jack Dashwood. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? I'm ready for your augmented reality demo here at Mateo. So let's see what you got. Yeah, so now, this, now we're going to do today, future, and far future. So this is in use with customers today. So yeah, this is the uh, the newest uh, image matching technology from Mateo called uh, Mateo Visual Search, and you can take basically products, uh, and it'll recognize uh, the packaging and give you information uh, about the product, pricing, nutrition information, so on and so forth. So you can take, um, you know, go to your your mall and. Um, look at some of the objects, get product packaging information. Um, so if I'm gluten-free and my girlfriend's allergic to peanuts and my mom has uh, a, a special diet, like I'm going to get flagged with all this information. Yeah, exactly. So you can put in your personal profile and, you know, you, you let basically the device do the mental arithmetic for you. You know, you've got this super smart device with a really powerful chip inside it in your pocket. Well, Let's let, ha let's let that worry about, you know, your dietary requirements and you can just get on with shopping. Right. And this is in use today. Uh, this is a cloud-based image library, essentially, that you're sourcing. That's right. So you can basically upload any library you want, uh, DVDs, paintings, product packaging, and then the, the system can recognize that through the camera view. So this is a retail use case, but you can do a lot more stuff with it. Exactly. Okay. Re retail, education, okay. what have you. All right, now let's move on to a prototype of something that's about two years away from mobile devices, which is over here. So what do we got here? So what you have here is an implementation of what we call the AR engine. So it's a hardware-optimized uh, computer vision architecture. So right. right now there's a lot of bottlenecks, what we say, in, in uh, computer vision, where the device is actually really being overworked. It's got to do a lot of computation. And uh, basically what this is here is a suitcase today, but uh, you know, in a couple of years, this will be a small wafer of silicon in your it's phone. It's going to go right in your smartphone. Right now, it's the size of a suitcase. Two years from now, it's going to be in your phone. And we have this car here. Yeah, so the, the car is basically showing us mapping this, uh, this mini little shopping center here, and it's extracting features. What that means is it's recreating a three-dimensional map in its system which can then be used for things like uh, assisting parking or autonomous driving. Uh, so it's pulling a lot of data out of the camera feed, and in order to accomplish this, you need to have hardware acceleration. So you know, our PCs, our phones, we have GPU acceleration, graphics acceleration. Now it's time for computer vision acceleration. So if I've got a car full of screaming, hot, sugar addicted kids, and they can't find a parking space, this could come to my rescue. Yeah, you jump out and then you let the car deal with the kids for you. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're gonna go about five years into the future here. What we have is a very innocent looking uh, rock music uh, on paper here. Some of the uh, greatest albums that ever made actually are on this uh, sheet, but anyway. Uh, so this is just a piece of paper with uh, some some uh, album covers on it. What's the significance of this? So this is a demonstration which uh, maybe we can give your viewers later on in another video, but uh, this is what we call thermal touch. So we're basically combining standard computer vision uh, you know, with a camera on your smartphone, but with a thermal imaging camera. So when I touch the items uh, in, in the real world, my, my finger's gonna leave some heat residue. And with a thermal camera, that shows up as a fingerprint. With that fingerprint, we can say that's an interaction. So what you can do is you can take a piece of paper and you can make it smart. So this is a piece of paper today, but with thermal touch technology, that piece of paper becomes a jukebox or any other kind of intelligent use case. You know, we're basically making the world an uh, interactive touchscreen. All right, thanks. Well, those are three of many use cases, but that gives you a quick glimpse of the present and futures of augmented reality. Thanks a lot, Jack. Thank you.